We're here at Paleo's Grill, the Strawberry Plains Pike location, and I'm here with Steve Paleo. He's the owner of the restaurant's owner, creator, chef, everything. He does everything. And Paleo's Grill is one of my favorite restaurants, and that's why I'm featuring it in this year's Favorite Things Holiday Gift Ideas. One of the reasons that I like Paleo's Grill so much is the Southern Roots Italian heritage. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how that whole concept got started? Well, I grew up cooking with my uh, Italian grandmother mm -hmm. and my Southern mom, and these ingredients were fused together from my whole childhood. And cooking both styles and with both uh, uh, Southern mom and, and Italian grandmother, mm -hmm. it was a natural uh, leap for us to create, create Playoffs Grill from that base. Mm -hmm. You know, we use all fresh ingredients. We make everything here on homemade spaghetti sauce, authentic, just like my grandmother used to make. Mm -hmm. Slow simmered all day long. <laughs> you know, the finest ingredients in it, and everything's cooked to order here. Make all of our salad dressings, our fresh vegetables from California, all of our own soups, custom soups, uh, signature soups. We bring a lot of fresh seafood on the weekends, a lot of special seafoods in. And we've got our authentic uh, four food groups, you know, our steaks, seafood, Italian, okay. and Southern, all, so you have all your four choices in mm -hmm. I think we've got some uh, food coming. Ooh, oh, it looks like we have. got shrimp and grits. Like bring it on, bring it on. Uh -huh. um, some the shrimp and grits, this is, uh, this is one of my favorite things here at Play Square. This is like your, one of your signature dishes, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of them. We call it Chef Thank Hat. You. Mm -hmm. right. We have on our menu the Chef Hats, which uh -huh. are like my personal picks out of each section. Uh -huh. This is our homemade Nana's lasagna, uh -huh. which is a really nice portion, and we've got the uh, the meatballs and the authentic Italian sausage is just incredible. Mm. And this has been one of our best sellers. Both of these are really top sellers in the restaurant. Real popular with all of our guests. That's you know, and this is, uh, you know, really layered with lots of different, four different layers with different kinds of cheeses, you know, and then the homemade sauce and then the uh, incredible meatballs and sausage. Mm. Um, yeah. And the shrimp and grits. This is like a Charleston favorite, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, our version. Everything is our Italian twist to it. And uh, I was visiting Charleston with my uh, daughter. She was in the Coast Guard there. I visited her a lot. And all the restaurants in the Low Country, Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, have shrimp and grits. So we put our Italian twist with our Italian sausage and our Italian temperanata, tricolored peppers with our tasso gravy mm -hmm. and our stone ground cheese grits that are made by Italian polenta and southern grits at the same time wow, with our mozzarella and provolone cheeses. So this has been a senior people who drive for 50 miles to get this dish. Oh, wow. It's been a hit ever since we've uh, opened the restaurant. I doubt this can ever come off the menu. How does y'all cook? You know, like the first 10 times that I ate at Plano's, I ordered this every time because I was afraid to try something yeah. new. So this is excellent. Yeah, this can be addicting for people that really love flavor. Yeah. Like really love the flavors. Prepare for a good, solid meal here at Plato's, no doubt. And you've got great desserts. We were talking about the tiramisu um, string earlier, and then we are talking about the cheesecake. Is that your creme brulee cheesecake? Yeah, this is our creme brulee cheesecake where we caramelize the top. And it's made with real vanilla bean, and it's a, a traditional New York style with real cream and cream cheese and uh, real no vanilla. Fat. That's great. I don't know about that. We've not done analysis on that. We've got our strawberry puree mm -hmm. on top. It really goes good with the vanilla flavors and the nice cheese of this cake. This cake actually won an award in the Top Chef contest at City View okay. a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got the magazine here that's on shelves, on the, your bookshelves right now, or your stores, wherever City yeah, View is sold. It came out the 1st of December. Yeah. And uh, we entered as an appetizer the shrimp and grits as an app. Mm -hmm. And the cream and cheesecakes are served our entries, mandatory entries. Mm -hmm. And we won first place in both of those by the people's choice of all the attendants that came to the City View contest. That's fantastic. And you can read all about that in uh, this month's episode of City View. Can't wait to read that. So when are we going to eat? Are we going to eat uh, now? We're ready, yeah. All right, all right. Well, let's get to it. made out of Italian parsley, green onion, fresh lemon juice, fresh garlic, kosher salt, fresh black pepper, and butter. And it's all whipped together, and then that's put underneath the steak, which was melted. It's incredible. Flavor, <laughs> really bringing out the flavor of the beef, the fine beef that we buy. Great. And my mom always gets the filet, filet grill. That's one of her favorite things. Yeah, here. we have everything from filet hips and sirloins all the way up through filet mignons mm -hmm. to big, thick New York strips and ribeyes. And 
it depends on which taste is your preference. Mm -hmm. And we have a great prime rib, mouthwater and slow roasted prime rib. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have different sizes. You can get as large as you like at that. So mm -hmm. we really uh, homemade as you with that. Do a great job with our, with our steaks and the fresh season. Are you hungry yet? <laughs> Let's eat. Paleo's Grill, three locations, Merchants Road at I-75, Cedar Bluff at North Peters, and I-40 at Strawberry Plains. And this is the original store, the one here at Strawberry this Plains. This is where it all started, 2002, August 16, 2002. And I hope you're shy about this, but here's one of your best chefs in Knoxville, folks. Let him cook for you. Thank you.